What's up everybody, Tucson Acres here. I'm doing a little uh, winter scrap cleanup, separating out all my copper, and I'm getting really tired of stripping stuff by hand. So, been watching uh, the interweb, you know, YouTube and, and the like to figure out a good way to do this. And I think I come up with uh, a, a, an in-between solution. I don't really feel like taking the time, because I don't have that much. Uh, so I don't feel like taking the time to make a really elaborate one like the Stripmeister, which I know I could. The main drive roller is the, the biggest issue for me on that one. I thought about using a pipe cutter and reorientating the, the cutting wheel on it. Uh, I've seen a bunch of the, you know, the overseas ones where they just use wood and, you know, slap a couple pieces of wood together with some screws and, you know, hold a, a blade in there. Uh, but one of them that I saw used um, a piece of angle iron and drilled a bunch of different size holes in it. And I thought I would try that with some aluminum. So I'm going to leave a little space here. I'm going to score a couple lines and uh, we'll get started. Enjoy the video. That definitely seemed like it worked. I think I missed just the last like quarter inch. Yeah, holy cow. Well, I definitely made light work of that.
Well, I have to say that works a treat right there. Holy crap. It just splits that right off. All right, so after toying with this thing for a little bit, I think I just about got it figured out. Go ahead and start backwards just to get a, a cut going. I'll flip it around. No, it's not the right one. There we go. Okay, find our edge. There it is. Just like that. 